I feel what I do in a suit, even with an animatronic head, is definitely acting. You can put a monster suit on a hanger and film it, and it's going to look pretty, but if it doesn't have life, movement, and character behind it, and an actor's heart, it's going to be a really pretty thing to hang on a hanger. My, my favorite? Yeah. That's Ultraman. I used to love watching guys in gorilla suits. Godzilla was my favorite. Doug Jones' performance as a sapien. Definitely Predator. The alien suit is a classic. In my mind, the greatest man in a suit is the Gilman in Creature from the Black Lagoon. He's like Godzilla, just that he's part human. The actors who did the monster suit acting in the beginning were kept anonymous because they wanted to sort of keep secrecy on how the effects were done. Even as a kid, I remember thinking that Robbie was a real robot. That's how they promoted Robbie, and they never, ever put out any press stuff that there was a guy in the costume. People forget there's somebody in there. You stick most people in a giant creature suit, they'll be screaming within 30 seconds. The farther you get from human, the more difficult it's going to be to wear. The physicality of the role is surprisingly demanding. It's important to have a good sense of body awareness, the strength, the flexibility. We just bring it all to the table every time, no matter what role we're doing. All those characters, whether they're human or non-human, deserve an actor's touch to develop a heart and soul, uh, an intention, fears, wants, desires. There's a handful of people that still do it and are the best of the best and the rock stars of what they do. <laughs> Audiences want to connect with people. They want to connect with a character on film that's living and breathing. I under rubber on, on, a, on a Guillermo del Toro film set, that would be a happy way to go for me.